Hello. I am very excited because today we have a brand new action camera purchased recently from Amazon. And even though it doesn't have a screen, um, I'm very excited to take a look at this camera for around $100. This is what I purchased it for. I cannot guarantee the price. Just keep that in mind. You will see coupons, discounts, and this one for me I think was around $140 with the automatic $40 off coupon. So a little over $100 in total and I'm just very excited to see uh, what kind of features are available. This is another camera, the third one I've purchased from the company SJ Cam, and I, I do have a lot of faith in this company because I happen to own another camera, which happens to be my favorite camera, my favorite um, camera ever, the SJ Cam C200. This review is not for the SJ Cam C200, but this is one that I really like. Tends to overheat in warmer weather, but with image stabilization and 1080p 60 frames per second, the audio quality is phenomenal. So I might be drawing some comparisons between these two, but this is the SJ Cam C200, my personal favorite, even though it can overheat in warmer weather. But anyways, we'll be comparing maybe the size. Um, but I brought that up because that one does have a screen. This one does not have a screen. So this one does promise HD video, image stabilization, but without a screen. And maybe the trade-off is that this one would ideally be a little bit more portable, a little bit smaller, but it does have a dustproof design. So the question is, is it worth paying $100 for this camera? Well, that's really not it for me to decide. That's for you to decide. So I'm going to show you the camera. I'm going to show you the accessories. I'm going to show you the application on this phone because again, no screen, so how are you going to change the settings? There is a free app you can download called SJ Cam Zone, Z-O-N-E, Z -O -N -E, that allows you to access all the settings, Shows the, hopefully shows you the battery life. So I'm going to show you that app here, and through the app we'll be able to see the settings. This will be the screen. You'll need a smartphone or a tablet with a... I don't know if you need a Wi-Fi connection, but you'll need a smartphone or a tablet to access all the menu settings because there is no screen here. So, without any additional... <clears throat> interruptions let's talk about about the actual camera out of the box I did take off this plastic but otherwise I have not used this camera very very excited because yes it is a hundred dollars uh, so I don't know if I should be a little bit cautious here and saying hey is this worth it well we're gonna find out we're gonna show you some test footage some photos and then you can decide for yourself if this is something that you'd like to purchase the SJ cam action camera advertises 4k i might not use 4k I might use 1080p 60 frames per second resolution which is my favorite the c110 plus purchased from amazon advertises image stabilization that's always something that i really like to see of course not all image stabilization is the same sometimes it can be quite poor but we will see so sj cam not too much on the box really except it says okay 4k and image stabilization so what can we expect well can't wait to get to the part where we actually test the camera so if you don't want to watch me look at the accessories in the camera just skip to the later part of this video where i will show you some test footage um at 1080p 60 frames per second uh, maybe we'll do a 4k video test so here's the box here is the camera and the accessories so it's nice that we have the underwater housing now one thing i did notice just keep this in mind also. Several things to keep in mind. There is no memory card included. I believe there is no memory card included. So if you would like to actually be able to use this camera and store your footage and photos, you'll need a separate micro SD memory card. Um, maybe a 32 or a 64 might work. So we'll look at the manual to see what kinds of memory card sizes are accepted so i have a 64 card here that i had already purchased separately just to insert into the camera but you will need assuming it's not in here you will need to purchase separately a micro sd memory card in order to store your footage otherwise you won't really really be able to record anything because there's no memory card there's no memory built in so we have the underwater housing which allows you to not necessarily guarantee but <laughs> hopefully it will help this camera to be um waterproof with the underwater housing um, so the camera will just go right in here and that's easy enough uh, to take off All right I, I hope so, I mean to put back on uh, right All right one second let's tell this a little bit oh wow that's quite difficult to put back on okay so here's the underwater housing just uh, I probably wouldn't use the uh the camera without the underwater housing um 
just because if you have the underwater housing. I wouldn't, I, I mean, maybe it's possible, but I wouldn't necessarily submerge this without the underwater housing. Okay, now onto the most exciting part. So this is supposed to be more portable, supposedly because of the fact that there's no screen. But honestly, I'm not seeing that much of a difference here. The size difference is a little bit of a size difference. Eh, not too much. So this camera, anyways, that was the SJ Cam C200. So the SJ Cam C110 Plus, very cool design. You have this dust proof uh, design. Let me just move the camera back. And um, build quality feels nice. I mean, this is honestly a lot heavier than I expected, but hopefully that's because it has a good battery life. We hope. <laughs> so here's the on button. Um, I'm not sure if that's the Wi-Fi button. So it seems like we only have two buttons. I mean, um, maybe this is your microphone or a speak speaker, microphone, um, lens, um, SJ cam, and this is the indicator, I guess. Okay, so we can insert the memory card and the um, USB cable. So why don't we actually do that right now? Just bear with me one second. Yeah, so this camera is, it's not very light. It's actually quite heavy, uh, which means the build quality is good, I guess, but definitely has some weight to it. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, you'll need to purchase a micro SD memory card. So why don't we just, um, I can't do this with my fingernail. There we go. Okay. So you see that, uh, uh, USB port, I mean, where you can insert the USB cable, the other end will go to your computer for the purpose of charging the camera, transferring uh, the files from your camera to your computer. Okay, great. So just take a thin metal object, any kind of thin object, um, you insert the memory card, and you listen to the click. There's the click. Okay, so we've got our memory card there, which is nice. So that's where you insert the memory card and where you insert the USB cable to charge your camera on button and a Wi-Fi button and that's it no screen so you will need an application I really like the texture here it doesn't slide on the box very nice texture it's, the build quality feels very nice honestly this feels really heavy duty dust proof design you could put in your pocket it's not going to get dirty if the lens gets dirty whoop, just wipe the wipe the dust off very cool okay so on to the manual so um I'm going to show you a little bit of the manual it's going to show you some features probably and some settings and See, it says uh, you can get the SJ Cam Zone app that will allow you to connect to your camera so you can access the settings menu. Um, I guess there's a QR code for getting the app or you can just search for it. So, hey, you can use this QR code if you want to um, download the app or you can just search on your app store for SJ Cam Zone. Okay, it supports up to 128 gigabytes of memory card. So we had a 64 gigabyte memory card. That's good. Or a 32 or a 16 or whatever. Uh, 32 uh, usually works well, so does, in this case, 64, and I guess 128 as well. So, here are some settings and instructions and showing where the buttons are and what kind of features you have and and different languages. Okay, so that's that. Um, now onto the accessories. There's probably not going to be that many accessories. I mean, most importantly, we have our underwater housing, we have our camera, but you will need to purchase a micro SD memory card. You need a micro SD memory card. I will just emphasize that just so that you know you won't be able to use the camera if you don't have one. Okay. Oh, we have a sticker. That's nice. None of these cameras have stickers, which is pretty cool. Um, and we have the cleaning cloth. Well, we probably won't need it, though, because we have a nice dustproof design. You know, some cameras, the lens, you're not supposed to touch it. You're not supposed to put anything near the lens. But this, not this one. Just kind of a nice glass or plastic, hard plastic over the actual lens. So it's not going to get dirty. Very cool. Put in your pocket, no problem. USB cable for charging your camera and transferring files from your camera. Ugh, it's not focusing. I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. Charging your camera, transferring files from your camera to your computer. Some standard mounts. Um, um, another mount for your camera. You can insert the camera here, and I guess there's this that you can attach to other accessories. But me, I'll probably just be holding it like this. Or pointing it at myself, I guess. Um, another mount for your camera. I mean... There's some standard mounts and accessories, and what's this? Uh, okay, I have to see what this is. I don't know what this is. What is this? Um, yeah, what is this? Oh, very cool. Huh. 
Oh, this is cool. Very nice. Okay, another mount uh, you can attach this to your camera. Very cool. Very nice. Okay, so now that we have unboxed the stickers and the cleaning cloth and some basic accessories, let's actually turn on the camera. <laughs> but you know what? We have to we have to turn on the app too while we're at it because don't forget if we want to see the settings, we need the app SJ Cam Zone. So let me just show you that right now. Okay, so here it is. Okay, I've downloaded. I have an Android phone. There's the SJ Cam Zone app. Okay, look at that. S J Cam. So now we want to connect to the camera. So let's do that, right? Because we want to see our camera settings. So we can't do that because there's no screen. Uh, one of the drawbacks um, of having a camera with no screen, but that's okay. Okay, so we have the the app. Now it's connect to the camera. So are we going to get some instructions? Um, actually, there are some instructions. So let me just show you that right now. Okay. Okay. Download the app. Power on mode. Press the Wi-Fi key. Okay, let's turn on the camera, shall we? Power on. Okay, it must be on. In power on mode, press the Wi-Fi key and the green light will blink. Okay, where's the Wi-Fi? Here we go. The green light will blink. Perfect. Okay. In the app, click connect camera and manual connection. Connect camera, manual connection. Please turn on camera Wi-Fi. Okay, confirm. Um, okay, so now it's showing our Wi-Fi networks on my phone. So then it says, use the password one two three four five six seven eight to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Okay. 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 So in your camera's Wi-Fi um, list of Wi-Fi options, you should see a network that starts with um, C110 or C110 plus, and then there'll be a bunch of numbers. Okay. And then you want to just click on that and then enter the password. As long as your Wi-Fi is on, your phone will have this in the Wi-Fi uh, list of Wi-Fi networks. So then you just press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as the password. So let's do that right now. And then connect and then click the connect button on your phone. And it's going to take a few seconds, but then once you're connected, the green button, the green light won't be flashing. It'll just be a constant green light. That means your Wi-Fi is on. The Wi-Fi, you're connected to your camera. Your phone is connected to your camera. Um, so you can see that steady green light. So now, um, after connecting, return to the app and click connect camera. And now you should be able to see everything. Okay. So, so now connect to camera right here. Wow. Look at that. So yeah, I'm connected to a uh, connected to Wi-Fi. This is cool. Look at this. Pointing it down. Wow. This is cool. Okay. So you can see what your camera's seeing. That's cool. I guess we'll just put it there for now. We'll put it down here for now. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just like just sitting down. Okay, so so now that we have our camera connected, you can see when I move the camera, it moves on the screen. It's a little bit of a delay, but that's it's very cool. Whee! <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, so we're going to talk about video quality later. 
But so here's our app, and um, we can start recording. Oh, it shows your battery life, and it shows how much time you have. So I put in a 64 gigabyte memory card. So it says I have two hours and 30 minutes of, sorry, two hours and uh, 13 minutes of recording time left. Actually, that can't be right. My memory card is probably mostly full already, possibly, So because I was already using that memory card. Anyways, let's go to settings. You can also turn on your camera, turn off. Um, okay, now let's go to settings. Sorry that you can kind of see me in the background. Apologies. Okay, resolution. So like, so now that we can see all the settings on the camera, since we're connected to the camera via the Wi-Fi. Resolution. So you have, um, here's our, here are the optional, I wish, really, really wish you couldn't see me in the background. Ah, uh, whatever. Hopefully you can see that what's on the, uh, hopefully you can see the settings. Ah, oh, this is annoying. Okay. There we go, that's a little bit better. Let's try 1080p 60 frames per second. I like that resolution. Audio on, gyro sensor, that's image stabilization. So we're gonna keep that on. Um, other things that you have, distortion correction, I guess that'll be off loop recording. Let's just turn that off for now. Timestamp, let's turn that off actually. Logo watermark off. A lot of settings. Strobe light off. Indicator lights. Oh. What's voice broadcast? I don't know what that is, actually. I've probably been using this memory card. Uh, or something else. That's why I have like half of it. Has been used already. No, yeah. well, there were kind of other kind of settings we have. Sorry, I'm just tired. I am tired. Ugh. Keypad tone. Um, I guess we'll keep it on. Sure, why not? Rotate. Um... Okay, so those are our settings, starting with resolution. So I'm keeping it 1080p, 60 frames per second with the, um. With the image stabilization on, that's your gyro sensor. <laughs> um, sorry, yeah, let's just kind of playing around with our camera settings here. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so that's kind of my favorite uh, 1080p 60 frames per second with the, uh, the image stabilization. On. So that's all I can say really you need to download the app Turn on the Wi-Fi by clicking the Wi-Fi button. Oh my gosh. This camera's overheating already uh, Maybe because it's, it's kind, of, kind, of, kind of warm today. Oh, uh, it's not good. It's kind of a little bit warm. So download the app um, Turn on Wi-Fi by turning on the camera and tapping clicking the Wi-Fi button then going to your Wi-Fi networks Selecting the one that says C100 or C100 plus and then there'll be a bunch of numbers clicking that entering one two three four five six seven eight That's the password in the manual And then connect going back to the app clicking connect and then you'll be able to see everything so That is essentially what this is. It'll show your battery life. It'll show the amount of um, Memory you have left on your card mine only has two hours left even though it's a 64 gigabyte card because I was already using it for something else. But yeah, this is it. 1080p 60 frames uh, per second with image stabilization. So <clears throat> so this has kind of been an unboxing video and showing you how to use the app because you will need to see what your camera is seeing. You will need the app. But just keep in mind that you don't have to use the app to um, SJ Cam's own app. You don't have to use the app to... To, to stop recording or to pause recording, you can just really use the uh, the camera itself. Like you don't need the app. You, you, once you've got your settings, once you have your preferred settings, you can just click the record button um, to record. You don't need to use the app to start recording. So that's nice. It's not like you need to carry your phone everywhere. So let's just give you an example of that.
Okay, so I turned off the LED indicator a light setting, but let me show you how to start recording actually. So let's turn on the uh, Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is on. So let me just connect to it. <clears throat> so we've connected to our camera, but let me show you how to record. Obviously, um, you can, um, oh, sorry, you can record, oh, I'm tired. You can record by clicking the record button on your app, but you can also record by pressing this on button. So let me just try that. You see this on button right here? Let's try that. So click it and it should start recording. Yeah, perfect. See, it's recording now. And then, again, the on button, tap the on button to stop. And you hear the, you hear the sound. That's good, uh, good um, kind of feedback. Here again. And then stop. Good. So, as I've just shown, you don't need to have your phone around everywhere. Once you've kind of placed your settings wherever, once you've kind of set the camera to whatever settings you prefer, resolution, and everything like that, then all you have to do is press to start recording and then press to stop recording. So it does that double click. So you see, I mean, double sound. So one sound recording. Now it'll, it'll give you two beeps. That's your stop recording. Okay. And then hold long press to turn it off. That's how to use the camera. Now, all I'm going to say is in the next part of this video, we'll have some video samples. My favorite is 1080p. 60 frames per second. So that's what I'm going to record with. Yes, it records all the way up to 4k, but 1080p resolution, 60 frames per second is not only perfectly acceptable for me, I really like it. And it's a combination of you know, good, good quality video and smooth video. because you have that 60 frames per second. So that's it. We're going to test this camera. I'm really excited to take it outside, uh, and, and show you some, uh, show you some video maybe we'll do a photo test but for now the priority is to show you some video samples 1080p 60 frames per second with image stabilization uh, see you in the next part of the video where we test the camera this has been an unboxing video thanks for watching hello okay so uh, let me just say um somewhere in this video i said that there was no memory card included with the sjkm c110 plus but at the bottom of the box i actually found this which i think was uh with this package so i apologize i didn't really see it in the product description uh, just because I, I don't want to give out any misleading information the sjkm c110 plus uh. I am sorry, after I recorded the whole video, I realized this was actually <clears throat> at the at the bottom of the box. Yes, this was at the bottom of the box, a 32 gigabyte micro SD memory card. So let me just say I apologize. I said there was no memory card included. This was just somehow at the very bottom of the box underneath everything, underneath the accessories box. I mean, ideally it would have been included in the accessories box so i apologize for that there is a micro sd memory card i didn't know that you'll find it in your box hopefully i just <clears throat> don't know if i saw that in the product description so edit to this video the sjkm c200 i mean the sjkm c110 plus does have a um a memory card included at least in my package so i apologize it also came with this memory card box so Again, I apologize. Don't not trying to give out any misleading information. I didn't know there'd be a memory card, and it just happened to be outside of the accessories box. So, but if not, then you'd have to purchase a micro SD memory card. So that is it. That's the edit to this video. The SJ game C one hundred and ten plus. Hello, this is an image stabilization video test with the SJCam C110 Plus action camera image stabilization video test. We're just gonna walk around. So you can see if this camera is doing a good job of stabilizing 
the footage so it doesn't look shaky. Image stabilization video test, 1080p 60 frames per second with the SJ cam, C110 plus action cam. Let's start walking around. I'm going to try to keep the camera still and hopefully the image stabilization feature will uh, take care of the rest. Just walking around. Image stabilization with the SJ cam, C110 plus action camera. Sunday afternoon, September 2024. Image stabilization with the SJ Cam C110 plus action camera. Sunday afternoon, video test, audio test, SJ Cam, available on Amazon, it does not have a screen, just keep in mind, this camera does not have a screen, so if you're looking for a camera with the screen, similar dimensions, similar weight, similar features, then I might just recommend the SJ Cam C200, which uh, does have a screen. And it's not, can sometimes get a little bit hot in warmer weather, but that is definitely an option if, if you are interested in a camera made by this company. I mean, it's my opinion, it's a great camera, but just do your research before you buy anything. So this is the SJ Cam C110 Plus, and of course, the, C, the SJ Cam C200 is also an option. It's also on Amazon. A little bit cheaper, actually, which is nice. Uh, but this camera is quite heavy uh, for a camera without a screen. So maybe it's to support the uh, the battery life. I mean, one would hope. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, so, so far, everything seems to be fine. I mean, I think the video quality is fine. I think the image stabilization is perfectly fine. I think the battery life is fine. So, so far, so good. It's just not the cheapest camera that you can buy. That's for sure. It's around a hundred dollars, something like that. So, so it's a nice day though. Nice day to test this camera. It's uh, September, September, 2024, September, 2024, SJ cam. Quite a nice day, a little bit warm. Okay, so we're gonna take another lap, I guess. Uh, that'll be it for the image stabilization video test. And thank you for watching this video. The SJ Cam C110 Plus action camera.
Hello, this is a 1080p 60 frames per second video test with image stabilization with the SJHAM C110 Plus action camera available on Amazon. 1080p resolution video test, 60 frames per second image stabilization. So you can see for yourself, you can decide for yourself if you think the video quality looks good. If you're researching this camera, just keep in mind it does not have a screen. However, an acceptable substitute if you're looking for a camera made by the same company with similar features and similar, similar dimensions with the screen, and that would be the SJ Cam C200, which is a perfectly good camera, in my opinion, uh, though it gets a little bit hot when the weather is warm. But here, right now, we're talking about this camera, the SJ Cam C110 Plus. What can I say? I think the battery life is good. I think the image quality is fine. The image stabilization is fine. So it seems like a perfectly okay camera, in my opinion. Just keep in mind, it's about $100. I mean, give or take about $100, depending on if they still have that coupon available. So I probably wouldn't pay more than $100 for it, personally, just because it doesn't have a screen. But if you're using this camera for in a way that doesn't require you to really see what you're recording as you're recording it, then maybe this might be the camera uh, for you. So... 1080p resolution, 60 frames per second video test. Seems like an okay camera so far, but I'll let you decide as you watch this video if you think the video quality looks good, if you think the audio quality is good, how well can you hear me right now? And <clears throat> is the image stabilization feature doing a good job of keeping, keeping the camera still and steady? This is the SJ Cam C110 Plus action camera, and this is an image stabilization video test on this Sunday afternoon, September, in the year 2024. Image stabilization video test. Ten eighty P resolution, sixty frames per second with image stabilization. Ten eighty P resolution image stabilization video test the SJ Cam C one hundred and ten plus action camera. Does not have a screen, however, I think the uh, the video quality and image stabilization are perfectly acceptable. So if I had to choose between a camera with a screen or a camera without a screen, I would choose the camera with a screen. This is the SJ Cam C110 Plus action camera available on Amazon. This is a 1080p resolution 60 frames per second video test with image stabilization. Uh, just taking a walk outside. September 2024. Hello, this is a 1080p resolution video test. 1080p, 60 frames per second with the SJ Cam C110 Plus action camera. 1080p video test. 60 frames per Per second. How well can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is? 1080p, 60 frames per second. Just enjoying this uh, Sunday afternoon with the brand new camera we recently purchased on Amazon. 
called the SJCAM C110 Plus. This is a 1080p resolution 60 frames per second video test. The camera does record all the way up to 4K. <clears throat> I think it records up to 2K as well. Uh, but this is just a 1080p video test. Recently purchased on Amazon, this camera does not have a screen. This camera is dustproof, has a nice design, very good build quality. At least it seems that way for now. But it does not have a screen. So if you're looking for something with a screen, a similar similar camera, I'm not saying you have to buy it. A similar camera would be the SJ Cam C200, which has a screen, is similar size, and... Um, has good image stabilization, just kind of tends to overheat a little bit when it's warm. But so far, it's so good with this camera. And again, the main drawback is that it does not have a screen. So you can't see what you're filming unless you have the SJ Cam Zone app open simultaneously on your phone or tablet while connected to the camera's Wi Fi. Then you can see what you're filming with a little bit of a delay. But otherwise, you cannot see anything that you're filming because this camera has no screen. So what can I say about this camera? I think the audio quality, from what I've seen, is very good. I think it captures the audio just very, very well. I think the video quality is acceptable, but keep in mind it's a $100 camera, so if you really want a camera without a screen, you're willing to pay $100. Um, okay, that's fine, but just letting you know, it's it's not ideal not to have a screen. I just I was really curious about this device because it's... Uh, I mean, it's, it's quite heavy, which is interesting. I mean, I hope that's is that it's heavy to support a large battery because definitely don't want to be charging this all day. 1080p video test, 60 frames per second. If the image stabilization enabled, this is the SJCAM C110 Plus. I'm recording this video Sunday afternoon and very happy to uh, report that the audio quality seems to be very good. I think it has a good microphone which is important because some of the, some action cameras, even the more expensive ones, they just have a microphone just picks up the audio quite terribly. So refreshing to see that here. It seems to be picking up the audio quite well. 1080p video test, 60 frames per second here with the SJ cam. C110 plus SJ cam. C110 plus. Ten EDP video test sixty frames per second with the SJ cam two hundred and ten plus action camera.